Hi there. I wanted to do a quick video about how this integer operations manipulative works to add uh, positive and negative integers. Um, it came out of a, my graduate thesis. I was working um, in an 11th grade algebra 2 class and my kids were able to do really hard things, but by the end of a, an equation, when they had to add and subtract from both sides of an equation, dealing with negative numbers was getting in the way of them getting correct answers. So this is why I developed this tool. So let's get into some examples. So say negative 5 plus 12, what you'd do is you'd find negative 5 on the ruler, and you'd find 12 on the ruler, and you ask, well, which number is farther from 0? Obviously 12 is farther from 0. I shouldn't be writing on paper with this, but I'm going to. Um, so the answer is going to be positive because 12 is farther away. Fold it in half, count the spaces between, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So your answer is positive 7. Um, I like to laminate, so then you can just easily wipe off so kids can reuse them over and over again um, use it in, using a dry erase marker. Same question, uh, same type of idea with 3 uh, minus 8. I tell the kids to change it into plus a negative. So we're really dealing with the number 3 and the number negative 8. That's a little bit more concrete than kind of a negative 5 being a noun, an addition sign being kind of a verb. This way we have 3 plus negative 8, two um, concrete numbers. So we have 3, we find 3. We find negative 8. We see that negative 8 is farther away from 0. So our answer will be negative. Fold it up. Count the spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our answer is negative 5. If you want to learn more, um, my blog is scaffoldedmath.com. It's sold on Teachers Pay Teachers as integer operations manipulative.